Alright everybody, so I've just finished updating this application, and we will continue where we left off. Now, this took about 15 minutes to update, I believe, and it, it was a big update, so, yeah. But not that that's too big of a problem. So I have some links here, and we're going to punch these in, and we're going to see what we get when we punch these in. This is technically an image exploit. And let's take a look at the task manager. Nothing loaded in here, so I'm not going to give it any problems for that. So, Zone Alarm has basically replaced the Internet Explorer uh, download screen with its own to tell you more about the file and to tell you to only save the file if you trust its source. Jay, this just promised to help uh, remove registry errors from my computer. I'm going to run it. You know, just a just a kind of a, a joke. Uh, it did not observe any dangerous behavior from this file. It appears to be safe to open and run it. Yeah, let's well, I don't know if this is contradictory information, um, but here it seems to think it's a Trojan. Uh, so, I'm going to call it a Trojan. I'm going to say that was blocked. Uh, if we just check the task manager, still 29 processes, nothing, nothing loading in. Uh, unless you trust this site avoid entering personal information so it's kind of iffy on this on this site and uh, I don't know that that link just worked earlier I can't believe it's not working now or zone alarm is knocking it out so let's read more it says you should exercise caution on justvers.com uh, the site is a not a known phishing or spyware distributor, but um, it's located in China, Asia. So we're gonna say that was a good enough block, and so here it just pops up and it blocks that threat. I'm gonna try to run this. Yes but it already said it quarantined it. I'm not using Firefox 3.55, so... That's, we're going to leave that alone. So these are some rogue applications here. And, uh... And it did quarantine it as the Trojan downloader next one here this is another rogue we'll run this one so it has to transfer a good deal of information so I'm gonna do the next link while that's uh, going on and this is internet security 2010 so it's a good rogue so we have this one has been detected and that one has been detected. Great. Uh, yes, yes. So it's giving me contradictory information in terms of a few things there. Uh, I will accept it because it removed the file anyway. But I still feel like it should agree on the facts. But I guess it's two different components, so... Yeah. So... It is now checking the file to make sure it's safe. They could not verify the safety, so we'll do an advanced scan. It's kind of getting trumped up on this one. So it runs an advanced heuristic scan. 
and it's run in a safe virtual space, and they're going to observe the behavior. So it's doing a pretty in-depth job here checking it because it obviously takes a little while. Uh, the heuristic scan did not observe any dangerous behavior. Um, all right, I'm gonna run this one. Looks like I need a language pack. And what's this? Codemaster. Well, as you can see, I have a rogue here, and I'm sure happy about that, but uh, let's see if we can get this back to the desktop. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. So let's just, let's just see something. So, supposedly I was running in a sandbox in the force field, and technically I should be able to clear virtual data. Although it might not affect something like this. Okay. Okay, so maybe that's not how it works, uh, technically. Because obviously I still have Codemaster here, so it's not a complete sandbox or anything. So I was completely wrong there. I'd love to get to the close button on this. There we go. We open up Internet Explorer. Let's see if it still works. Yeah, it still works. So we have... It blocks this rogue site as untrusted, but it still gets to go ahead and scan. Uh, I'm going to run this file here. I'm going to do an advanced scan. This is a good rogue here. Uh, if it has any sense, I would hope it would detect this. Uh, because there's a lot of little hints leading to the fact that this is probably not a safe file. While this is scanning, I will go back and I have one more image exploit that I don't know if this one works. I would like to see that. Oops. This one. Ah, so this one it actually detects as a dangerous site. I'm going to go back because I would like to be safe. This last one is an executable. And we will run this. And it quarantines a Trojan downloader. It's still scanning this one heuristically. And I will close this up and close this up and I'm going to wait for this to finish. And I'll be right back when it is. So it didn't detect anything dangerous. We'll go ahead and run this. Yeah. So this is going to install guard www, which will guard the web. And so apparently it downloaded a file that was considered malicious by this engine. So I'll be right back when this is done downloading. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go ahead and try to install this here. Uh, whatever Kaspersky found might have been something else because this seems to work just great. Let's run guard www. Guard World Wide Web. So it looks great. It's running fine. So, so far... Uh, Zone Alarm does a great job, except for s some excessive processes, um, some excessive resource usage. It does great against stuff like Trojans and whatnot, but it seems to fail pretty well when it comes to rogues, because uh, I already managed to get two rogues on here, and only, I only had three rogues. So it did miss several of those, and I did not notice any hips alerts or anything like that uh, pop up at me. So, the download protection is great, but it didn't do too much in terms of undetected threats. Uh, so thanks for watching everybody, this was Will from RogueDatabase.net.